Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and here in this bag is from Studio FX, a cool lighting kit. As you can see, we have redone the Doug and Nikki studio, except the lighting is not done yet. We're just dealing with some old crappy lights, so we got some new ones here. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna unbox this, set it up, I'm gonna tell you about some of its features, then we're gonna light this setup, and you're gonna see the difference between what it looks like now with some old school ring lights and that kind of stuff. Moving on to the large soft boxes which are in here, then I'm gonna give you Doug score from one to five, let you know how the quality was, how they were to assemble, all those kind of things. And overall, what Kona and I think of it. All right, so let's open it up, see what's inside. I'll tell you a little bit about its features. Number one, obviously it comes with this really nice carrying case carry bag. If you're a moving around photographer and you need to move around, that is truly helpful. In here, wow. Wow, there's so many toys in here. Okay, let's start with, there are 12 of these lights equaling up to 2400 watts of 5400 Kelvin daylight balanced light. I normally find that these things, even though they say 5500, tend to be a little more on the whiter side, but that is totally fine for what we're doing here. Um, I have a nice tan, a little extra white is okay with me. Let's see what else we have in here. Wow, there are a lot of lights to go in here. Here we have three 16 by 24 soft boxes. We'll assemble one of them so you can see what's involved in that. Ooh, here is the big toy right here, okay. So this is a tripod with a boom to use one as a hair light. Let's see what else we got. Two more 70 inch tripods. This is a sandbag to put on the end of the boom for the one you're using as a hair light to counteract the weight so it doesn't fall over on you. And then these are the light heads. Okay, so let's put this all together, see how it works. So these are obviously lightweight construction, not heavy duty pieces, but I will say they are a good size. Sometimes I find, you know, the lighter weight stuff kind of isn't as wide of a base. This seems like a really nice size. Let's see, not spring loaded, but um, nonetheless, seems nice and solid, super tall, as you can tell. I'm not gonna have to put it all the way up there, but that seems good. Let's see what these heads look like. So this is what the light head looks like. Obviously has four ceramic fixtures for the lights themselves. You have two switches, so you can choose basically between full blaring and half blaring. Um, has a fuse built into it. Looks like everything you would want. Let's put it over here, let's put it up here, see what, it start, see what this looks like. Let's see what's involved in assembling these soft boxes. Okay, so I will say these are a little more old school. I've had some recently where it kind of really kind of comes pre-assembled and then the soft box just folds open, but this one's gonna be, we're just gonna slide the beams through and stick it into the mount there. All right, so that's what that looks like assembled. Let's put a couple light bulbs in there. Okay, so this is what one looks like assembled completely on that is full blast, half blast, and off. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the other two together, assemble it, set it up, and then I'll use it as the studio light and you can evaluate it and I'll give you that Doug score overall, how I think they look and how they've gone together, that kind of stuff. All right, let's go put them together and set them up. Okay, here we are. The lights are all set up. I am sitting under this. I hope you can see it in the camera. So there is a mix of good and bad with this set. I think the biggest weak point is gonna be this stand that the hair light is on is not gonna survive more than five minutes. I'm waiting for it to come down on my head. The other thing which isn't so good or seems weaker are the actual light heads. They seem very plasticky, very cheap when you put the light bulbs in Let's kind of be gentle with it. Now, obviously, this is not an expensive set. So I have two fabulous lights here in front of me. This light, I believe to be fabulous also, but it's just the stand itself can't support it. Let me turn it on so you can see what that looks like. Does that look good? Better or worse? It's very close. I would. I'm gonna get a different stand and move it up a little higher, but I am gonna keep the light and use it. Let me get the camera and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so just so you can see, 
I'm pretty sure you can see the bend in that. There is a nice arc on that. Even this one, you see how it's bent? And this is their own equipment. It's not like I put something heavier on it than it's supposed to be. Let me show you from another angle. I don't know if you can see what that looks like and if I move it at all. Oh, ho, ho. that is definitely not gonna survive the evening. Okay, so, you know, it kind of is what it is. Just that part really is not working perfectly. Again, here's the two lights there. Let me throw this back on the stand again. Keep waiting for this to come down. Okay, so here, let's just start with the Doug score is a three out of five for this setup. I think there's a lot of value here. I think parts of it are gonna work good for a long time. I think other parts are a little more on the junky side, but I have bought some of the other more name brand kind of things and they're definitely a little higher quality, significantly more money. I think you got to balance, you're getting a lot of value here, a lot of lights, decent quality, um, but you're not paying a whole lot. So overall, three out of five on the Doug score. I like it. I'm going to utilize it. I'm going to get a different stand for this one. I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.